Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally doing a video that you guys have been requesting for a really long time. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to do it, um, but I'm finally going to do a hair tutorial. How I've been wearing my hair lately. Um, I've been, you know, wearing it with a little bit of a wave. It's like very casual. It's got just a little bend in it. And you guys have been bugging me relentlessly. Just kidding. You guys have been asking a lot um, to do a tutorial. It's super, super easy to do. I am, have no doubt that you guys can do it at home. I am not like super good with hair. So the fact that I can do it, I know you guys can do it. So my hair is blown out right now. So I will say this is like one of the most important things that I do before I do the wave for a couple reasons. So first of all, I have <clears throat> naturally wavy hair and it's also damaged because I was just platinum blonde. So, you know, my hair is pretty frizzy and unruly. So if air drying does not look cute on me right now whatsoever. So I do blow it out. I'll either like paddle brush it or round brush it, like nothing fancy. I just have to like smooth the cuticles. If I just went right in with the flat iron and did the waves, it just wouldn't last as long on me. Like once I slept on it, it would just go back to being big and wavy and I would then have to do it again tomorrow. So yeah, we're starting on a uh, clean, blow dried hair. A lot of you guys are saying, you know, how have you put your hair through so much and it's so healthy? How is it still so shiny? Look, I have never been one to like be super into hair products or invest in hair products or spend any kind of amount of time on my hair. But since bleaching it, I have really had to step up my game because my hair is not healthy. So however it looks like this is a lot of like product that creates the illusion of healthy hair so there are a lot of different things that i use to give it some shine and one of those things i'm going to be talking about now which is a brand new product to hit the market i've been trying it for some time now and they are by the hair care line called verb and this portion of the video is sponsored by verb so thank you so much for sponsoring these products have just hit the market um, i've had the opportunity to be trying them for a few weeks now and i seriously love them so they came out with a new line called reset and it comes with a shampoo a conditioner and a sealing mist and essentially it's to clarify the hair a lot of you guys are probably familiar with what a clarifying shampoo is um, but if not it is a shampoo that cleanses all the extra buildup of like dirt oil and mostly hair product that builds up over time that doesn't wash away easily with regular shampoo and conditioner it's pretty common knowledge that clarifying shampoo strips your hair color you know there were a few times where like i dyed my hair pink and i really wanted to fade it and clarifying shampoo is the way to do that quickly so i always kind of avoided that because i didn't want to strip the toner from my hair um even now like i just got my hair colored i didn't want to fade that or anything so i normally avoid clarifying shampoos at all costs even though i use a ton of product in my hair and it definitely builds up so i was so excited when they came out with this because it is literally color safe there are no sulfates so this absolutely won't strip your color this won't damage your hair it won't dry out your hair that was super exciting because i had never seen a clarifying shampoo like that before so all of these products are also cruelty free and gluten free they use seawater to do like the cleansing and clarifying and then honey locks in moisture and there's also aloe which is very soothing for your scalp so the first time i used this i was obviously very curious but also a little bit skeptical because like i said clarifying shampoo usually just sounds harsh to me so that was my association but after using this entire set my hair felt so light so like flippy and springy and like my scalp i don't get dandruff but i get like really itchy scalp because of like all the dry shampoo and all the oils and all the masks and like i use so much product in my hair nowadays that it just felt like brand new my scalp was clear it didn't itch my hair didn't get greasy for a lot longer than it normally would so if you're someone like me who is trying not to wash their hair so frequently or is using a lot of product or is not able to use a standard clarifying shampoo because of you know damage to your hair or you have color um, then definitely check them out so the the shampoo which clarifies 
Then you follow up with their repairing mask. This is a protein mask. They use quinoa protein. There's also honey in it. So after you use the clarifying shampoo, your hair is definitely after washing it with a product that has seawater. It's not going to feel so silky smooth. So following it up with this is an absolute must. I just like felt this like sink into my hair after I was like after the shampoo removed all the buildup I felt like this was able to penetrate much better so then you just leave this in like a regular conditioner about three to five minutes and then once you're out of the shower you apply the last step which is their sealing mist into towel dried hair what this does is it seals in that protein mask that you just applied and this helps bring a lot of shine back into the hair. This helps make it easier for you to style. It helps tame frizz and it helps to detangle the hair as well. So you can buy these products individually or they also have a set which comes in this tin box here and it also comes with their ghost oil. I am obsessed with this ghost oil. I have not tried this before. I know this is one of their cult products. I've heard so many people rave about it. It is now one of my holy grail hair products. I'm going to talk a bit about that in a little bit, but let's get on with the tutorial. So for this, I only use one tool and that is a flat iron. The flat iron I use is the GHD Platinum. You can use any flat iron you have at home as long as it's like a thinner one so because we're going to be making waves with this we're not going to be straightening the hair i part my hair down the middle in the back nothing fancy just to bring it over on each side i take about a one one and a half inch section and i want to be moving away from the face so um i start it here and then i twist and i pull as i'm twisting before I get to the end, I unleash. This is a great tutorial, very professional. I unleash. Anyway, so I'm twisting the hair like this once. I'm pulling, and then as I'm like three inches towards the bottom, I'm unwrapping it and then pulling the ends straight. And that's what's gonna kind of give. Look, now you're seeing my breakage, okay? My hair's not healthy, okay? All these products just make it look that way. So anyway, that's what's gonna give this like kind of casual like bend in the hair and then leaving the ends straight is what's gonna make it look like kind of like undone and casual. So let's do that again so you can see. So we're twisting, we're pulling, and then we're unleashing, I guess. So just like that. This one's a little, I'm gonna kind of flatten that out because I was going a bit slower. To show you guys and I don't alternate the directions I keep going away from the face each one is going away from the face so twisting pulling unleashing let's just stick with it okay if it ain't broke don't fix it you know what I'm saying so again they're all doing that little like it's pre pretty much just waving that middle of the hair and that's how I'm able to get that kind of casual bend in the hair without looking too done up so we're twisting, we're pulling, and then about a few inches, we're unleashing, and then just giving a little tug on the ends. Oh my god, I'm really hot between this flat iron, the fact that it's 80 some degrees outside, and I had to turn off my air for this video. Twisting, releasing, pulling to the end. Okay, so that side's done, now we're gonna move on. To the other side okay again away from the face you're gonna have to adjust your positioning a bit and it can feel a little odd like I feel more natural doing it on this side but it's no big deal so we're twisting we're unraveling and pulling through the ends I am so happy to be a brunette again you guys it has been so long I've didn't even realize how much I missed her it was like first of all I loved the blonde and I loved the red they were so fun but like it almost felt like I was like wearing a costume you know what I mean like it was so fun to like be playing this character but it was so bizarre to like look in the mirror for the first time after going back to brunette and I was just like Honey, I'm home. Okay, so put my hair back and then I just kind of like rake it. I like rustle the roots and then just like run my fingers through it. 
and just kind of like tousle it. See, and it just creates that like pretty bend in the hair that doesn't look like we spent so much time styling it this way. Okay, so now for the oil. So, oh my God, I love this project so, so much. So they call it a weightless hair oil, ghost oil. And I didn't know there was such a thing because um, oil's heavy and no matter what, like I have a few hair oils, but I can only do them like on the ends of my hair and only when they're like freshly washed. Um, otherwise I look like a drowned rat, even though my hair is very dry right now. This, I've been, I can use this literally every single day, all the way up to my roots, which thank God, because I have so many flyaways right now, it's insane. I've not seen my hair like this since middle school when flat ironing your hair, poker straight, because Jennifer Aniston did it, was the thing. And I had like pretty much a mullet of just like wispies. Um, that's kind of what I'm rocking right now, but it doesn't look as bad because we have better technology, i.e. products. Um, so I just do a little squirt in my hand. I rub my hands together. Ugh, it smells so good. I want a perfume in this. And then I just kind of rake it through like this. And then with whatever is left on my hands, I go up by the roots. And I literally can do this every day until I wash my hair and put this much in and it never looks greasy. I am so obsessed with this. I wish I found it a lot sooner. Cause look, no more flyaways. My hair looks super shiny and healthy. And oh my God, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. So that's how I do it, you guys. I hope you thought it was like pretty easy, um, but try it at home. Let me know, tag me in your photos. But yeah, look at this shine. This is all product, baby. This is not like my hair, <laughs> it's hurting, okay? Believe me when I tell you. But these products have really made it so much more manageable. Hi, wizard. I'm glad I finally did this hair tutorial for you. I hope it was everything you hoped it would be. I really have to turn on my air conditioner because I'm absolutely dying and I'm seeing spots. I'm like really over dramatic about being hot. I like can't stand it. Um, anyway, so thanks guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.